And in the aftermath of Irma, Orange County first responders and members of the National Guard rescued a number of people from nearly 200 flooded homes. We're talking about people who were trapped in the Orla Vista neighborhood just south of the 408. News 6's Matt Petrillo is live from there now. And Matt, what's it looking like out there right now? Well, we just talked to some crew members with Orange County government whose job is to basically clear debris off of streets like here on Washington Street and throw them into piles like right here. But there are so many downed power lines on streets and in homes that it's slowing down the process and making their jobs all the more difficult. Meanwhile, people are continuing to try to clean debris and water out of their homes, but it could, could be days for a sense of normalcy to come back here. That's because they are without power and it could be days for the power to come back on. We talked to one man though who told us that that is going to be a problem with him because he has special needs and he has also nowhere else to go. Take a listen. I couldn't believe it because um, yesterday uh, the power was on. The power was on until four o'clock in the morning. Then all of a sudden it was going off and on. Then all of a sudden um, we heard a boom in the back of the house and that, it went off. And many people here in Orla Vista kind of feel trapped in this neighborhood because so many of the streets are flooded. There's some vehicles getting through the water, but there's worry that some may stall and many people continue to uh, wait for help here. We're told FEMA is deploying about 8,000 workers here in Florida to help with assistance and recovery and the cleanup process after the path of destruction left by Irma. Guys, 